seeing you are here, you don't want to be groping in the dark, do you? Let's see. You're the dramatic side, aren't you? Yes. Well, I've only been here taking you a week. And I get muddled up with all you people rehearsing. Dramatic society, erratic society, choral society. <laughs> but you're the dramatic society, huh? Two of it, not all of it. Funny, aren't you? I bet you don't half make enough of that. Yes, of course. I remember now. I remember what? Your faces. I've got a good memory for faces. Last Friday, when the vicar brought me here to give me this job, you lot were still rehearsing. You stood at the back of the door until you stopped. That's when I saw you. Interesting, isn't it? You really not have to have a cigarette by any chance. I don't smoke. <laughs> a bit young for it, huh? I have some. Um... Here we go. Ah, oh. Ta. I seem to have run out, but you don't have many either. Pity. Because I was going to ask you if you could. Well, I was going to get some more on the way. Uh, and you might. But what wonder? Oh, I expect the um, shop at the corner of the street is still open. Uh, would you mind just popping along and um, giving but me a look? I'm not keen on these cork tip things myself. Not a bad looking fellow, Alan. Is he? But cock in mind, but of course. He's still a kid, isn't he? Quite a kid. Uh, sorry. Uh, Mr. Um... Smith. Ted Smith. When you put the house lights up just now, um, yeah. Well, you must have seen Mr. Wilson and me, well, more or less in each other's arms. Not being blind, but I did. Well, I hope you didn't get the wrong impression. No, I don't think so. Well, just as you came in and put the house lights up, I was, I had a really bad scare. Oh. Yes, you see, when I came in, I didn't know anyone else was here and I thought I was alone. And then Mr. Wilson, he jumped from, from nowhere and grabbed me. Damn silly thing to do. Yes, of course. You know these youngsters these days, they don't think. Hmm. I was very, very scared. I expect you thought Mr. Prowler got you. Uh, uh sorry, um... You must have read about it in the local newspaper. This chap that's going around town. Attacking young girls. Oh, yes, of course. Hmm. Yeah, but no, I didn't think it was him. But, um, you see, I was really, really scared. And when Alan, I mean, Mr. Wilson, realised just how much he scared me, he, he, I, I guess he was very upset. And then instinctively, he put his arms around me. Of course. Natural, you might say. And it was just as he put his arms around me, he put the house lights up. Yeah. Ah, I see. Look, I don't want any of the others to know, so please. No, I bet you don't. You know everybody knows, though it may be plain enough for us all to be attack. I am shut up! <sighs> Philip, he never lost that scarf last week. You, you never came here to find him. Hmm. What, what are you? What do you. It's nothing to do with me, of course. But I thought you might just like to know. The two of you can be here talking to each other across the street. Just thought you might like to know that. Because, well, you don't want everybody to know your private affairs, do you? Got a light? Then we'll talk some business, shall we? No, no! You find your own light, mister! And in future you buy your own bloody smoke! What? You get off this stage, do you hear? Get off you black man in front of me! Let him alone! Let him hear what he's going to do. But you lay a hand on me, you young whippersnapper. And I will make it hot for you and her. Yes, 
and that bastard of a husband of yours. You'd like to know what's going on between the two of you, wouldn't you? Give him something to think about while he's in the clinic for attacking young girls. Huh. You shot! You are blasted! Christ! Call yourself a dramatic society. More black vulgar inside the office. Why? I don't get a thing. Don't bother until you start with it. You are in trouble. Yes, a bit. Alan, leave me alone. I'm going to. Huh. No, you're not. You're going to come over here. You try. Are you trying to cause trouble? Well, I wouldn't. Not if I were you. 